Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is quite an exciting day um, because me and Alex will be celebrating our year anniversary together. Um, and so I thought I would show you what we get up to because the plan is to have a camp out in the garden and have a cinema night. So I will bring you along as we set up and as we do stuff. Um, to, it's actually our anniversary tomorrow so we are doing it a day early um, but that's just because of other stuff that's happening afterwards so from so today Sunday and on Tuesday morning um, we have an appointment which we have to go to so um, we thought we'd be better off doing it tonight rather than tomorrow and by the looks of it the weather is okay um, so we're just going to go ahead and do it today um, but before we get into the video, I just thought I would um, talk to you a little bit because I said that I want to be honest on this channel and I do and I don't know how obvious it is to other people but I just want to talk about it so that if something seems odd, if my behaviour seems weird or out of character, if I seem really down, there is a reason for it. Um, I'm currently, as of two days ago, starting a new antidepressant and so my body is getting used to it. Um, it does have quite unsettling side effects right now. Um, the way to describe it is, and this is how the doctor described it, um, a feeling of being hungover. So you take the, this antidepressant that I take, I take it before I go to bed. Um, and you do that once every day before you go to bed so in the mornings you feel very out of it um, tired I mean yesterday was the first uh, morning where I'd taken it the night before and I actually slept until midday without even realising so, so my family didn't wake me up and that was probably the best night's sleep I've had in a long time because it completely knocked me out. Um, but obviously when you wake up after being completely knocked out, um, you're very disorientated. Um, and you kind of feel like you're here but you're not. Um, it's very hazy. So my body is currently getting used to the new ones um, whilst struggling to deal with the fact that basically I've been on no antidepressants for months and because like I said in the last video I've been on an antidepressant which wasn't helping my mental health at all so at that time that I was on that antidepressant I basically wasn't having any help with my mental health so I haven't had any help for that for months before, even before lockdown I think actually and there's only so long I could cope with and it's all happened at the same time that I've got to a point where I can't cope anymore and I'm starting a new one so obviously I'm moving forward which is great I'm doing the right things and I will get better but right now I'm at a difficult space because obviously the new tablets that I'm on aren't going to be helping me for the next two weeks because it takes that sort of time to, for it to affect you um, obviously side effects happen can happen straight away but the actual effect on my head and making me feel better probably won't happen for two to three weeks so yeah the next two to three weeks might be quite rocky um, I'm struggling quite a lot I cry at everything um, and I mean I, I always was a bit of a crier but it's next level and I just feel quite disorientated not really with it um, but that's all to do with it as well so just wanted to clear that up before we get into the video today um, because I don't want it to seem odd if 
I'm behaving somewhat weirdly um, or if I decide not to pick up the camera and film something that's kind of an explanation for you um, for that but I'll be fine I'm on the up road anyway so it's just going to take a little bit of time so that having been said I think it's about time we got on with the video so I hope you enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and yeah, I will catch up with you in a bit. So we have a bit of an issue, um, we planned to do it a certain way, um, I'll show you in a minute how we planned to do it, but it's very windy today and we've also realised that because it's obviously quite light outside at the moment, in order to watch a film outside on the project with the projector, we have to be watching it about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock at night, um, which isn't ideal because what else are we going to do now? So let me show you what we wanted it like and then obviously we're going to change it around a little bit. So this is how it is at the moment. Obviously nothing, the blanket and stuff's not set properly because of the wind. But that's where we were going to have the film projected onto. There's the little projector. Um, but because of the wind, the sheet keeps blowing too much. And also, like I said, the light is a bit of an issue. Um, so we're going to adjust it a little bit and we're going to try and set it up actually in the tent um, so that we can watch a film but I will let you know how that goes He's not sure on the whole setup. I mean, he's busy trying to get to the food there. I can see him. Bertie, get out. Go and see, go and see Alex. So this is our new little setup. So obviously that's still the same. Um, we've now got sheets there. Um, and our projector here. It's still too light to watch a film. So what we're doing for now is we've got the iPad, ignore that, that looks really ugly, but there's nothing we can do about that. We've now got the iPad set up here. So if I come in without breaking anything, this is what our new little setup is looking like. And then obviously later on we'll have the projector on there. Um, but yeah, it's looking really cute at the moment. We've got all our snacks ready. Um, yeah, this is what we're looking like. So I warned you this morning 
um, about what was happening with me at the moment and that good days are very far. It's a fresh phrase far and few between, something like that. But yeah, I don't have many good days at the moment and unfortunately today was one of them. It was not a good day. So as you can see by my background, I'm back in the house. Um, we'd set everything up, we'd got the film to play, we ended up putting on the iPad because um, it was still too light for the projector so we were going to then watch a f watch one film on the iPad and then watch another one on the projector but I was outside and I just felt super uncomfortable um, I think I mean, actually, inside the tent, it was physically very comfortable. Like, we'd put the cushions out nicely, the duvets created the padding that we needed to stay comfortable. Um, so, physically, was comfortable. It wasn't too cold inside there either because it's not actually physically cold outside, but the wind makes it a lot colder. Um, so when you're outside it feels a lot colder but inside the tent because we were protected from the wind it wasn't as cold and um, it was quite a nice temperature but unfortunately my head just wasn't in it and I don't know what to do because obviously I've basically just ruined what should have been our year anniversary plans and Alex is very good about it. He doesn't care where we are. He's had fun during the day putting stuff up and like putting it all together. Um, and he doesn't mind where we sleep. He really doesn't. He doesn't bother him. And like he was just happy that like I obviously made a lot of effort. So he was just like you know happy with that he didn't he doesn't care where we sleep um so yeah so he is very good about it he understands that i can't help this um and that is just obviously i am getting better although it doesn't seem like it right now i am um so yeah so we are back inside and the whole tent watching a film outside thing was a half fail um but that's okay we said we we're gonna do it a different day not in the near future maybe in a few weeks time but not like tomorrow or anything we're not gonna bother trying it again yet we're gonna wait till i'm a little bit better um before trying that again because actually the whole idea was good and like it was a nice idea and it was working just from the moment i woke up this morning i knew it wasn't gonna be a good day and you know you just have a gut feeling like you do everything you can to tell yourself it's gonna be a good day and be positive as best you can like trust me i do everything i can to make my mood better i don't just stay in a bad mood and you know not do anything to help it i do try but when you have a multitude of things wrong with you um one of them being anxiety and depression which yeah is not very good at the moment just my mood is not good i mean i had two breakdowns just trying to find something to wear tonight so i mean it's not uncommon for me to get up trying to find something to wear but it's yeah it's not nice literally just picking arguments with everyone and not only is this hard because of that it's hard because I know this isn't me and as soon as I get angry at someone or shout at someone 
or cry about something i'm like i hate myself for the way i'm doing for how i'm acting but there is nothing else i can do about it other than just go with it and wait for the tablets to help because i can't physically do anything i can't change it um just how i am right now and i feel sorry for everyone around me um but it's just a multitude of things like when you're watching this it'll probably be a couple of weeks later anyway but so actually when you're watching this i'm not feeling much better anyway um but like the pubs have just opened and things are starting to go back to normal which is great and all but the pubs being open like part of me is worried that they're now open because like both my parents are nurses and they are fairly sure that soon we are going to have a second peak especially with the amount of people that we've had coming to Cornwall obviously we're not in Cornwall but Taunton Dean services are one of the main stop off points on that journey from north to south and Taunton is quite often an area where people will come and visit on the way so it's highly likely so, yeah like I said with the pubs being open as well that's not going to help the situation um still don't understand why the pubs are allowed open but the gyms aren't and things like that not that I go to the gym but I have people around me who use the gyms a lot and it just does not make any sense especially now Boris is uh, pushing like get healthy and get fit <laughs> open the bloody gyms then don't open the pubs but anyway that's another rant so yeah and the other part of me like it feels like okay so the pubs are open can't do anything about that and i'm kind of getting a bit like oh i fancy i feel like going out because i'm literally on my social media everyone is out whether they're at a pub or whether they're at, like because people are now obviously drinking at pubs so they think okay so i can have people around and get drunk so but don't get me wrong i'm having friends around um will be next week um for my birthday but that's all going to be social distanced in my garden and i think that's something that people have forgotten that although you can see up to six people those six people should be two meters away from each other or i don't know if it's one meter now but whatever it is they shouldn't be right next to each other that doesn't mean you can meet up six people and forget the social distancing but that's what everyone seems to think at the moment and yeah so it's a bit difficult my head is all over the shop um so yeah i apologize because it obviously doesn't make me want to film um because I just feel miserable as hell but hopefully the worst bit will be this week or like the last few days and this week um, and hopefully I'll be feeling much better by the time I have my friends around to have my little gathering because I don't want to be feeling grumpy then obviously I want to enjoy it and be able to take it in not have it flop like this did <laughs> um but yeah so i apologize if this video is a complete flop um we will be trying to do this again at some point so if when we do do it again um i will probably try and film it as well just so you can get the idea of what it should have looked like and what should have happened i mean we gave it a good go I'm going to be kept very far in the film but we're going to come we've come back in and Alex is going to put it on the TV so we can watch it in bed and finish watching the film um, and yeah just chill out for the rest of the evening 
try and have an early night ish i think he's already gone 10 um but yeah just try and get some sleep because it's so draining it's so draining not feeling like yourself every little thing annoys me i can't i can't say that actually at all i have felt happy in the last few days and that's really sad for me because obviously i try and find the good in everything if i can it's just not happened like i can sit there and i can make stuff make sense in my head and like logicalize it i don't even know if that's a word but we're going with it um but yeah i try and do that try and make it make sense and i can do that but i can't say that from doing that i get happiness if that makes sense so yeah like i said i think i'm gonna go to bed or get into bed me and Alex are gonna finish watching our film and then we are gonna go to sleep i think really sad because I just feel like I failed him and ruined it for us <sighs> but he's very very supportive so I can't fault him for that um, yeah I just wish I could do something for him I just feel like I haven't really done that lately because Obviously, I'm not very well, so it's been a lot about me, trying to help me. Obviously, I try and make him feel as good as he can where possible. So, like, even if it's just a simple thing of saying, go, you can go and play on the PlayStation for a bit, like, for him, that's his zone out time, so I don't want to let him have as much of that as possible because clearly right now spending a lot of time with me is not gonna make him feel overly easy at the moment because I am not the most joyful person and I know that I've accepted that right now but it's just not fair with everyone else especially Alex um, but yes, it will be fine, I'll be on my meds, well I'm on my meds now but my meds will start to help soon, but it's just a horrible combination of the fact that my head is so messed up and then taking these tablets doesn't exactly make me feel better at the moment because obviously they're still getting like used to my body, so when I take my tablets after about an hour I genuinely feel drunk, it is, but without the fun of it, it's uh, like the worst feeling, like, like I said earlier, you just feel like you're there but you're not, and like you're hazy, and <sighs> I feel dizzy, I feel like headed constantly, I feel sick, and so it's not even like I can go, oh I'll just take my tablet out, I feel better in a bit, no, the, the side effects just, it's not fun at the moment. Um, and to be fair, they're not, I've not had them long enough for them to actually work for my head either yet, so that wouldn't really work anyway, but there we go. I thought I would come on here, explain what's happened today, um, and keep you updated on what's happening because, yeah, made this channel to be honest, so might as well be honest right now right in the moment tell you how i'm feeling um i actually don't know how i've got through this clip without crying because that's normally something that i do at the moment um but yeah thank you all for watching the video i hope that you can kind of get the gist of what i was trying to go for tonight um and let me know down in the comments below if you've celebrated a, 
anniversary or something with your significant other in whilst in like lockdown or whatever this time period is now I don't even know what to call it um yeah and how you did it because obviously before we couldn't go out anywhere so let me know down in the comments below if you celebrated how you celebrated what you got up to um because I would definitely be interested to know and I hope everyone is doing okay because yeah you can't feel like you're on your own but you know no one is on their own through this through feeling like this so or whatever your kind of experiences so like whether yours is your anxiety is really bad or your depression is really bad whatever it is you're not on your own and I will see you all in the next video. Yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.